let us take a look at Matt Crafton's new What is going on everybody, NASCAR Josh05 here and today, once again, I'm back with another die cast review. As you can see in the video, there are two Xfinity cars I'm doing a review on today. And the first one is on Tyler Reddick's 2019 Kill Switch Engage Chevrolet Camaro. I believe he raced this car at Richmond in the playoff race. Pretty sure it was the Richmond race because I remember Kill Switch Engage posted on their Instagram about this car when they were at the race. I'm a big fan of Kill Switch Engage. They're one of my favorite bands, so that was a really cool car to get. You know, Kill Switch is really awesome, so of course my favorite song of theirs is definitely This Fire Burns. And also, the next one is on Noah Gregson's 2020 Bass Pro Shops Daytona race win from February of 2020. That was a pretty good race. It was cool to see Noah. I think that was his first Xfinity Series win, so... And yeah, his car is from 2020 Wave 8, which I just picked up. The other one I've had for a while. I just thought I'd get two Xfinity cars in here. So we're going to unbox these bad boys and take a look. Here we go. Here are the two cars out of the package. My camera. I really hope my camera doesn't fall. Okay. Here are the die casts. Let's take a look at the cards. First, let's take... Actually, this is a magnet. The last time I did an unboxing of... Um, Bubba Wallace's car, I forgot to show. I think it came with a sticker. I did learn that you can't have the camera too, or the item too close to the camera, or that's why it won't focus. But here, this is a magnet, like I thought it was. Really cool design. This is Kill Switch Engage's uh, latest album they came out with. Really good, by the way. Here is the car. This is Tyler Reddick's car. GimmeRadio.com, okay. These Xfinity cars, the last time I had, I got these back when they were nationwide cars. I think from 2014 was the last time. I have 2013 and 14 nationwide cars, but since, since Xfinity came in, these are the only two I've gotten. It's been, it's just, the cars are expensive for sure. And this obviously is a playoff car. You can tell by the, the red spoiler and the red splitter. But let's take a look at this bad boy excuse me and let's take a look at the hood i get it at the right focus here you have kill switch engage on the hood really awesome band like i said we have chevy camaro on the front number two i think that's richard childress's logo there and on the front bottom here okay that says sunoco at the bottom just your usual contingencies Moog, Eldobrock, and Sunoco. And this is, a, of course, like I said, a playoff car. But there's the Goodyear, which the Goodyear logo looks like it's got a little chip there, but oh well. And then we have, of course, the playoff round of 12. The Xfinity Series playoffs logo. Mechanics wear. And what is that one right there? Let me see what that is. I can't tell. These contingencies are so small. Uh, I see Dura Last Breaks. I think that's Holly. And then MSD. I love the design on the side with Killswitch's album there. That is awesome. If you're a Killswitch Engage fan, you have to get this car. It is amazing. I love it. I really do. And then Tyler Reddick's number two. And then there's his name on the name rail as far and Excuse me. Here's his name rail. And then there's all the wins he had, which he had a lot in 2019. He really did well in the Xfinity Series. Got the contingencies there. Let me, I think Lucas Oil is one of them. I'm really doing terrible at reading these. Let me see if I can see him here. And I can't see him off camera, so... I do have really terrible vision, so apologies for that. That's why I have trouble reading these. Uh, I think that says... 
Heim, I think, H-E-M-S or M-E or something. I can't really see that. I don't know what sponsor that is. On the bottom here, we have Pinnacle and Osco and then GimmeRadio.com. Tame Beast, which is one of Tyler Reddick's main sponsors. The American Ethanol logo, and then on the roof, it, which is red, which I like. Number two, GimmeRadio.com. Make sure that's still focusing. You have GimmeRadio.com, and then there's the Gimme Radio logo. I'm not sure what radio that is. Maybe I need to figure that out. On the back, we have, I believe that's Akuma. I think that's another Richard Childers Racing sponsor, which the back end, the decals are a little crooked, but you get that with these cars sometimes. Number two, and then GimmeRadio.com, and then the Chevrolet logo, and then, of course, it's a Camaro, so you got the, the exhaust there, decals. And the right side is the same. Very nice car, and it looks like it's being clear now that I'm not holding it right in front of the camera. But there you go. There's Tyler Reddick's car, and now let's take a look at Noah Gregson's car. Here's his card. Is it a card? Yes, it is a card. All right. I love getting race version cards. They're really nice. Here is Noah Gregson's card with him celebrating with his trophy. The NASCAR Racing Experience 300 Champion, Daytona Beach, Florida, February 15th, 2020. Junior Motorsports. And of course, like I said, it is a race version. Number nine. And then Noah Gregson. I like the design too. The camo, which is, of course, it's Bass Pro Shops, so... That's the design, and here's some info on the back. Let's take a look at that. Make sure it's focusing. The date was February 15, 2020. Like I said on the front, time of race was 2 hours, 11 minutes, and 44 seconds. He started in 12th, and total laps was 120, which was 300 miles. Number of cautions, 7 for 28 laps. I'm sure pretty much all of them were for Rex because... If you watch the races at Daytona or Talladega, whether it's Xfinity, Truck, or Cup, it's all wreck fest, which people like. Some people like the wrecks, so if you like wrecks, you need to watch races at Daytona and Talladega because they are insane. Laps led by winner. He led Noah Gregson led 15 laps, and the margin of victory was under caution because a wreck happened. Excuse me, a wreck happened with about three to go. I think I know. I think it was. The green white checker it happened like right at the end they wrecked on the back stretch and noah held them off under caution harrison burton i think finished second and there's a picture of noah celebrating in the background there very nice car card i must say it's not a car but it's a card i like the info they give you that's pretty cool let's take a look at noah gregson's car that he won at daytona with very shiny i must say like that metallic silver that's very nice all right let's take a look at the front of course i love how they have all the tape it just looks more realistic i like these race version cars they just look much more realistic let's take a look at the hood love the design of that hood i'm not like a big hunter but i like camo designs and bass pro shops cars because of course my driver is mark Truex jr and he's a bass pro shops guy he's been pretty much his whole career Let's take a look at the hood. We have Johnny Morris's signature, and I believe that's what does that say? That is True Timber Camo. I guess that's a outdoor sponsor. My dad would probably know what that was. Uh, he's likes to hunt. Bass Pro Shops on the hood, and we have Camaro, the Chevy Camaro on the front, and the usual contingencies. I think that's is that Simpson. Is that what that says? Yes. That is Simpson and Sunoco on the bottom. Not a lot of contingency. That's kind of odd. Well, there's some over here. We'll get to that. And then, like I said, the Camaro, number nine. And you got uh, the Junior. Is that Junior Motorsports? No, that's a decal. That's a light decal, Josh. Come on. <laughs> anyway, but there's that. And there's the contingencies I showed you all. There's Goodyear, which that Goodyear does not have a chip like the other car did. Which is fine. Uh, we have the NASCAR race car logo, NASCAR Xfinity Series, Mobile One, and I think that's, that's ARP, I think. Number nine, we have Brandt 
on the bottom there, which that's usually just an Algar sponsor, so it's nice it made it onto Gregson's car. Black Rifle Coffee, I've never heard of that before. I wonder how that coffee tastes. But uh, anyway, we have number nine, and of course we have Noah Gregson's name there. I like the I like this paint scheme too. Both these cars have really nice paint schemes. And then the American Ethanol logo there on the left quarter panel. And on the roof, I think that's, uh, is that the same, is that that coffee brand up there? No, that's the True Timber logo, okay. I'm just trying to make sure I got these right. So True Timber, and then also True Timber camo right there on the trunk as well, or deck lid, I think is what that's called. And again, I cannot read those contingencies. They're way too tiny, but I can read these. That one is Exalta, and what's the other one? Oh, it's the American flag, wow. <laughs> so Exalta, and I like the American flag there. That's pretty cool. And on the back, there's the Black Rifle Coffee Company. And again, really nice camo on the back. And is that, what is those little sponsors there? Oh, a couple more contingencies there. I see Mechanics Wear and Mac Tools. There's some more. That's a weird place to put contingency sponsors. I've never seen that before. It's right there. There's some contingencies, if you all can read that. You can pause it if you like. There's Chevy, the Chevy logo, and then once again, Camaro. The back isn't quite as crooked as the other car, but, you know, they're, it's not a big deal to me. I mean, it's they're not like a million dollars. Like online, the, now the cars online, they cost a lot. They should be made better, but if you get them in Walmart, you're paying less, and it's a get what you pay for, but I don't care. I'm not that picky about it. As long as it's not like ridiculously crooked or something. And then number nine there. And then that is the paint scheme. The right side is the same. Of course, it's got the nicks and stuff. And the, I like how the exhaust has that color. Like whenever the fire backs out, it has that black burnt color there. That's really nice. But both these cars have a really nice paint scheme. I'm really impressed with them. They're very nice, but here are the two cars here. There we go. But yeah, this has been the diecast review on these two really cool Xfinity cars. If you're in Walmart and you find them, of course, the Tyler Reddit car might be a little bit harder to find. Although since I got it, I did see it in a Walmart that I went to. So with my buddy, I did see it in there. So you might find it. The Noah Gregson is a lot newer. It's in a newer wave. Could not find the trucks that were in the Wave, which I forgot to show on the box what the cars were in the Wave, if you are looking for them. Here is Wave 8, which was the Noah Gregson car. As you can see, the two trucks there, I really wanted to get those, but they unfortunately did not have them. But here is, they had, my Walmart tonight had all these cars except the trucks, and they didn't have the Jimmy Johnson. I really would have liked to get the Jimmy Johnson since he's retired now. My sister would laugh at that because, you know, she's a Jimmy Johnson fan. But they had all these in there. So if you're looking for these, and they didn't have the chase piece, the shell pencil oil, but everyone else besides the ones I mentioned, they had. And if you're still looking for Wave 2, which I highly doubt you are, but if you are, here's what's in Wave 2. It didn't have any trucks, but... Excuse me. And also, the other Walmart I went to the other day with my buddy had a couple of these. They... Excuse me, I think they had the 42, although I think that's Kyle Larson. I don't know if that's Matt Kenseth or not, but here's Wave 2 if you're looking for that one. Anyway, so that has been my review on these two really cool Xfinity cars. I'm really, really satisfied with these two, especially with me liking Kill Switch Engage. So hope you guys and gals enjoyed, and hope you all are staying safe and healthy. This is NASCAR Josh Show 5 signing out, and I will catch you guys and gals in the next one, and I will see you later. Goodbye, everybody.